Hello my YouTube friends, it's Beverly here from Lucy the Cat Channel and I just wanted to bring you some blooms today. These are a few orchid blooms you've seen before but I have some non-orchid blooms that I wanted to show you and here is the first one. This is my Easter cat cactus. It's some kind of a Repsalis I think it is but I, I can't remember the name of it but uh, I can probably try and look it up. But to me, the main thing is not the name, but it's the lovely blooms. See, now if I can get that to focus, there you go. Um, when the sun is out, they, are, uh, they really open out. They're quite beautiful. Beautiful white, the lovely little details in the center there. They're just gorgeous. Anyway, it's got quite a number of blooms all the way around. Uh, it's the best, I think I had a few blooms last year, but it's the best blooming I've ever had uh, on this plant. And I must say, I'm very pleased with it. It's gorgeous. And I have another bloom to show you as well. A non-orchid bloom, or technically non-orchid, but this is, well, an epiphyllum. And it's, uh, so people call it the orchid cactus, but it's certainly not an orchid. But here is my bloom. I just got to reach out there to show you. It opened uh, yesterday afternoon. I took a picture actually, and it was just kind of cracking the first few little petals. And last night when I came out here, it was fully open. Anyway, and it's just like, you know, your own personal little sun. It's large, it's bright, and just look at the center. It's, I'll see if I can get a bit closer. It's just so, so pretty. And you can see, I don't know if that, you consider that the stamen or not, but you know, it's just beautiful and so bright. And even the sun is out, you know, in and out today. We have a few clouds. But even when the sun's not shining on it, it's, it's still gorgeous. Anyway, I think, and of course, I still have a lot of buds on this one to open. It's the best blooming I ever had. I had the first bloom was last year. And I had probably a couple of flowers. It did have, you know, some buds last year. But uh, a lot of them blasted. I only ended up with a couple of blooms. And you can see here now, there's still some buds there that are, like these couple here are gonna blast. And I've had several blast already, but you know, the number of blooms that look like they're gonna hang on and hopefully they will, you know, it should be quite a nice blooming this year. Anyway, I also have a, a red one and uh, I have actually a couple of red ones. Actually, I might have a red bloom I can show you here. Just one second now. I got, this is a red one that I have, and this one here is, it's trying to open. It's not quite open yet. These blooms are much smaller than the yellow ones. And I think I do have one down here I can show you that's open. There we go. And that's quite pretty as well. Let's see, I'm gonna get that to focus here. Mm. Maybe I'm moving too much. It's hard to do it with one hand. Anyway, it's it's a smaller a smaller bloom, but again, it's very bright, very pretty. And that's actually the second blooming now for this plant. It had I think it was four or five buds already this year. And anyway, I've got a few other things there along the windowsill. I do have actually this is an orchid bloom. I do have. Um, and reed stem epidendrum in bloom. And of course, I'm looking into the light now, see, it's harder, you know, it's harder for you to see. Uh, come on, focus, right there. Oh, I must be moving too much. Anyway, I'll keep you looking at that. I'm just, if I sneak over here, there's a few anthurium blooms, if you want to see those. And this is my other, other uh, red uh, orchid cactus epiphyllum. And you can see these blooms are going over. So the blooms don't last very long, which is the sad thing with those. And there's a few opening there in the back. 
But anyway, that's it, my Epiphyllum collection. And I hope you enjoyed seeing them. I really like them, I must say. Anyway, I hope everybody's staying safe. Take care, have a great day, bye-bye. Oh dear, I almost forgot. I have a clivia here that's in bloom. And it's, it's a really large plant. I'll just put my hand here. It's in gorgeous bloom. There's one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. A couple of blooms here after going over. There's another one here that's gone. But I must say, these are very pleasing too. Um, not that um, there's really any scent to them, but you know, they're very, very vibrant, gorgeous blooms. And Here's my hand by the bloom. So the bloom is not really large, but the cluster is gorgeous. But the plant itself is is quite huge. And it has, I've had the plant uh, maybe going on two years. It's first time blooming for me. And it has a couple of babies. You can see they're in the soil. Now there's two of the large fans on this plant. One here, which is currently in bloom. And this one here. Now this one here bloomed earlier uh, the spring but the blooms are trapped right down like it's it was right down here in by the fans and they just kind of tried to squeeze themselves out so it wasn't wasn't the best but i have to say i really do like this anyway thank you bye bye